a blessed day and welcome this morning we will be meditating on luke chapter 9 verse 23 then he said to them all whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross daily and follow me so far we have learned that our calling is to deny ourselves and Jesus' disciples need to take up their crosses on a daily basis. This morning we learn that both denying ourselves and taking up the cross is in preparation to following Jesus Christ and walking according to His will. Following Jesus means exactly doing what He did. Jesus did not say, follow a set of rules or follow a set of rituals. He said, follow me. Discipleship is an intensely personal pursuit. Make no mistake about it. Being a disciple of Jesus is more than adding a new set of activities to your already busy life. Today, let's take a moment to examine ourselves by answering the following questions. Are you willing to follow Jesus if it means losing some of your closest friends? Are you willing to follow Jesus if it means alienation from your family, loss of reputation, losing your job or even losing your life? If the answers to all of the above is yes, that you are truly committed to him. Missionary Amy Carmichael worked with children in India and one day she took them on a field trip to see a goldsmith refine his gold after the ancient manner of the East. He was sitting beside a little charcoal fire. The goldsmith had a concocted solution put into the tile pot placed a lump of gold in the solution and put the whole thing in the fire. As the fire did its work, the impurities in the gold began to leak into the solution and the gold became more pure. The goldsmith would occasionally take gold out of the pot with a pair of thongs, let it cool and rub it between his fingers. Then he put it back into fresh solution in the tile and heated it up again. Every time this happened, the goldsmith blew the fire hotter than before. Looking up at the children, the goldsmith said, The gold could not bear the fire this hot to begin with. It would have destroyed it, but now it helps it. One of the children asked, how do you know when the gold is purified? Here was the man's answer. When I can see my face in it, the liquid gold in the pot then is pure. Of course, Amy Carmichael couldn't miss the lesson for her own life. When our great refiner sees in us his own image, he has brought us to maturity and wholeness. Being a disciple of Jesus is first and foremost a response to his call to pursue him passionately. It is a call to be close to him, obey his teaching, take the same path he takes and walk on the same road he walked. It involves daily growth and development at the expense of personal comfort. Are you ready? To truly follow him. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I know you are molding me into your image. Let me be all you want me to be as I follow you passionately. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Shalom Maranatha.